do that every time. I need a good like intro. Um, anyways, today's video is gonna be so fantastic. I'm so fantastically excited. Yeah, so today we're gonna be doing something super fun. Today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be making some cute DIY Valentine gifts. So these are some cute ideas that you could do. They're really easy, pretty cheap. Also because Clay has um, an amount of money she can spend, so we gotta keep it cheap. Just kidding. They're cute, they're cheap, they're easy to make. So these are perfect Valentine gifts. So, before we get on to this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment if you wanna see more videos like these, more DIY videos, or some other Valentine's videos, maybe for next week, because Valentine's kinda coming soon, so don't have much time. Anyways, let's get straight on to the video. All right, you guys, we are all done at Warma. Now it's time to go home and start making all the gifts. I am so very much so excited. It's gonna be a blast. All right, you guys, this first one is probably by far my favorite. So this one is just a cute little frame and then you cut out some hearts on the same paper. And then inside those hearts, you add a map of the first, so first met, first date, first kiss, first I love you. Those are the four that I did. Um, it is just such a cute and simple um, Valentine's gift, and it's pretty cheap. I think mine was only, I wanna say like 10 bucks. The frame was like eight bucks, I just, bucks. I just got it at Walmart, and then I printed the photos from my printer. So it's super cheap, super easy, and so cute and simple. This one is just so cute, so. Here we go. All right, for this first one, we need paper. Um, you need a kind of heavier paper than the photos of a print, the printed photos. And then you are going to need a frame, obviously. First, you are going to take the frame, take out the back. I mean, because obviously you need to take out the back first. And then we are gonna take out all these papers um, this paper that I used, it was a little too big, so I I bent it to uh, try and make it fit. You can just take the glass piece out. Like my sister told me this, of how to do this afterwards, so. Um, I cut it to the right size. Then I printed off some heart papers. As you can see, I cut out the hearts, and we use these hearts as a stencil for the other paper, so it's it's a, a long process, but you know, if only life could actually be sped up like this, like, all right, I wanna speed up me cutting out these hearts. Boom. Then I took the stencil that I have, that the hearts were printed on, and I am just penciling in the hearts onto the paper that is going to be inside of the frame. So like I said, it's a it's a long or it's a it's a good step by step by step process. Okay, now that we've finished um stenciling out the hearts, now I need to cut out these hearts again. Okay, now we've got a map of uh, different places. These ones are all the exact same, just because I don't have a photo of, or a firsts thing. I cut out all these little map pieces. Make sure that they fit inside the heart. These ones didn't fit exactly, but make sure they fit inside the heart. piece of paper, just a background paper on. I put the top on, or the, the back on. I guess it's the back, not the top. And voila! There is my super cute heart. Number two, we have got the kisses for when I'm gone. So if your boy or your girl, whatever gender you are and whatever gender your significant other, wow, I just slayed that. Um, is, yeah, anyways, kisses for when I'm gone. If they like chocolates, then this one's a cute one. This one, it's kind of a cute, you can add something more to it, or this can be just a side gift, but you have a jar, and then you put 
obviously chocolate kisses. You could do whatever other kind. I just did the normal milk chocolate kisses because I'm basic like that. But you can do whatever kinds. I know that people can people love the peppermint kind. Anyways, you do that and then you can add a kisses for when I'm gone, like on the top. A little note and or you could even add notes inside the kisses. I've seen people do that, like the string. You could add a note on that or you could add a note instead of that. Anyways, you could get so creative with this one. Again, this one is super cheap as well. Costs like, I mean a few bucks for the mason jar, but most people have mason jars. And then obviously the kisses. So, this one's a super cute one, super simple. So here we go. I went with the basic version of just adding kisses to a jar and then putting the title, kisses for when I'm gone. You can add ribbon to it, you can add a little, you can, um, decorate the top so that's super cute or you could add like notes inside of it like I mentioned in the beginning but I just went with the basic putting kisses inside of a jar but you could make this it's such a simple one and super cheap you could make this and become you can be super creative and make this super cool or you can be basic like clay is and just be basic and not add anything but it's a super cute super easy one and there you go. And it's super cheap, so. Number three is the sticky note hearts. This one can also be a side gift or just something you could do for fun or a Valentine's gift. All of these things don't have to be Valentine's gifts, but we just did them as Valentine's gifts. I got a packet of pink sticky notes and then I wrote different little letters on each one of reasons why I love this person. It's not like a specific, it was for Raquel, but anyways. Um, cute reasons why I love her. You could write fun memories. You could get super creative with this one. And then you just stick it to their wall. You could stick it in their car if you wanted to somehow. I don't know how. But, um, or you could stick it inside of their house. So, I think this one's super cute. Let's get on to this one. And now we've got number three. Sticky note letters. First, we're gonna need post-it sticky notes. I used pink because, well, it's pink. Um, and that's basically all you're gonna need. Again, this one's another super cheap one. Then I got a Sharpie, or you could use a pen, whatever you wanna do. And then we just started writing super cute, either little tiny notes or things I love about, you can write things you love about the person. You could get super creative with this. You could even do like the coupons. I did a smaller heart. You can do a huge heart like you've seen on Pinterest. But I did a small heart. I did about, I think, 15, 15 different little notes. Yeah, Clay's got just a tad bit of OCD, so she kind of had to, kind of had to redo it multiple times to make it perfect. But you know, that's just that's just how I am. I moved them up closer. You know, we moved it quite a bit, but um, I did this to Raquel and she thought it was so cute. It's a super simple, you could even do this not for Valentine's Day. You could do this as just a nice, sweet little thing and I bet they will love it. So, there is that one. 
you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this was so fun to film. I love making crafts and Valentine's is definitely a super fun and definitely a crafty type of a holiday. That's the word. So, this was super fun to film. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you like it and want to see more DIY videos. And subscribe to Clearly of Vlogs because I will be, I've been vlogging, so that's fun. And I will see you guys later. Bye.